what's up you all i am back with another video and today we are going to be doing a video on how to stuff or how to um put together a tote bag easter basket so i know a lot of people like using the uh traditional wicked baskets or even the little dollar tree plastic baskets or buckets or things like that but I had an idea because I wanted to make a giant basket and I wanted to also be where the kids can hold it. And if they want the Easter egg hunt, the stuff won't be falling out the basket because that happens with a lot of younger kids. So I have this giant tote bag that I purchased from Dollar Tree and I filled it with the goodies um, for Easter. So if you are interested in learning or knowing how I stuffed this Easter basket, or to get it to look like this, stay tuned and watch the video. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and comment down below. If you like this Easter basket, tell me what you think of it. Have you ever seen anybody make an Easter basket with the tote bags? If not, tell me, um, like I said, tell me what you think about it. I am going to walk y'all through it step by step. If you don't know how to stuff them or know what to do to get it started, then make sure you watch this video from beginning to end so you can see how I build it up and everything and see how it come, came out to look so nice. And again, make sure you like. I have my Dollar Tree bags and other supplies, but we're just going to do the Dollar Tree bag. So we have these Dollar Tree bags. They have different characters. I just got these, but we're only going to do one to show y'all how it goes. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to open up the bag. And you can either be gentle with opening it so you can leave that this um, tag on. Some people like take tags off. I like leaving tags on sometimes. Depends on what it is. Okay, then you want to make sure that the bag is fully open. The next thing is you're going to want to get a box. Um, I can't give y'all a certain box size. I do want to let y'all know what I did is, let me see. What I did was went to Dollar Tree. I'm not going to even lie. I went to Dollar Tree because of course I wanted some boxes I didn't have to pay for. I don't want to keep paying for a bunch of stuff. Let me see this. See, that's not even, that don't even fit. But I wanted boxes that I didn't have to pay for. So, um, I do leave these little, um, handles in the inside of the bag, but I wanted boxes that I didn't pay for. So I went to Dollar Tree and what I did is I got a few of these boxes here and I cut them to fit what I needed them to be. Um, this didn't actually... Hold up all the way, y'all. So, let me fix this. Okay, yeah. So, I cut them and I tried to make them what I wanted them to be or to look like. And then I taped them back with packing tape. Let me look for my packing tape. Oh, sorry. So, I taped them back with packing tape. This here. I am going to put an extra piece of tape in the inside of this box only because I want to make it sturdy. Okay. So I tried to pack it with packing tape so it can all be the same size and, you know, fit like the way that I wanted it to fit. And then after I did that, I took the box and you take whatever end you want to take and you're gonna just stuff this box inside. And you wanna make sure that your box is wide enough to fit the entire bag. That way your bag can stay open and it looks more presentable. And as I stated, I wanna leave that in. So this right here is in a full box. I'll show y'all as I pull it up. Okay, so this side is open, which I really didn't want open, but it's okay. I'm just sliding it in. And then you wanna just make sure that it's 
it's able to sit down on its own. That's the main purpose. You want to make sure that the bag is able to sit. And so since this is going to be the front part, I want to make sure that the whole bag shows its front. So we definitely want the front to look right. The back, you want it to look okay, but it don't have to necessarily. And then you want to make sure that it can stand up on its own. That's the main purpose. Okay, so this is going to be the front of the bag. Okay, and it, what you can do to make it stick, you can either get another piece of tape. Or you can just leave it. And I did, I ain't gonna lie, I left it because I don't want to put too much tape on the bag in the um box so i didn't really put nothing down there i'm not gonna even lie but i am this time just to give it a little extra stick to it just a little piece of tape in the inside not a lot that way the parent won't have a hard time taking it apart okay so that's your base right there the next thing you do is you're going to just get whatever tissue paper you're wanting. So I used this purple for this because I felt like I didn't want to do too much pink. Because I already have a lot of pink stuff that I'm putting in it. So I used this purple. And you only need one sheet. You don't need a lot. Tuck it in. And then let me put another piece of tape at the back as well because that'll hold the back up so a piece of tape at the front and a piece of tape at the back on the back side so once everything is in there it won't be a mess Okay, so you got everything in there. Your bag, your box looks straight. Your bag looks straight. So the Mickey Mouse can show good. And that's your foundation right there. And now you can just start building your stuff. The box is kind of sturdy. It's not that sturdy, so you don't want to put too much heavy things on here. But a few things on there will be okay. So I'm going to start off with this little kite that we got. I'm gonna put the kite in here kind of sideways. I had it like this, but the, um, you know what, I'll leave it like that. And then I'll just fold this part down. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna leave it like that and I'll fold that part down because the kite that I had, is, the kite is kind of too big, but I wanted the, the Mickey Mouse stuff to show on it. I'm, so, it's kind of, just tape it down just a little bit okay so we're gonna do the kite and then I have all of these little things y'all I'm gonna tell y'all I really already had this stuff together so I don't know if I want to redo it but I guess I will for y'all okay so the next thing was this book right here i had it sitting just like that let's to make the book stay up because it is a little flimsy i am going to take i'm doing it this way so y'all can see it but i'm taking this piece of tape here i like this tape because it's more sturdy versus the cheap tape with dollar tape so that's why i'm using this one more but you can use any tape but i'm gonna take this piece of tape and i'm gonna put the tag and this book together so it can stay okay just like that and then you can do another piece on the bag itself
So this piece going on the bag and that. And then if you want to, you can just add a little piece of regular tape to the pipe. Because all of it is just giving this uh, back piece a little foundation. That's all it's doing. So it won't fall uh, backwards or forwards. So that's the first thing. And there you go. And as y'all can see, it's still holding up by itself, okay? So the next thing I had... Y'all, if I want to just put all this stuff back on here like I had it, to be honest, and not go through all of that, because this is what I had. I had already had it set up, but I broke it. But I can show y'all still. Y'all can see it. Okay, so I had this little thing there, the bear. Then I had a few pieces of candy. This body wash was just laying here. It's a Mickey Mouse whiteboard that I just laid on the bottom down here. I don't know if y'all can see it. Mickey Mouse whiteboard. And then this body wash pen. It was a towel. Oh, yeah. Okay. Then this towel. Let me put this Crayola right here. I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna roll a piece of this up just because I want this towel to sit where people can see it. So I'm gonna stick it to the bear and then I'm gonna roll another piece up so that I can do the Crayola as well. put a piece on the Crayola and the little board so they can see it. So that is the basket so far. Yeah, I skipped a lot of steps because actually this was like right here. But I skipped a lot of steps because I had already had this together. I just needed to change the bags to be honest. But let me see something because it ain't holding up like it was it says got pulled I think I got my book down too far I think my book was up a little bit higher Okay, so it was a little bit more like that, so they could kind of see a little bit of everything. And then I'll just stick the little candy right there, which I'm just trying to put some tape on stuff to make sure that everything is secure. And I am going to try these new bags, y'all, that I just got because the bags that I originally ordered they was kind of small so i want to try something different okay yeah so the bags that i originally ordered was kind of small oh i almost forgot the little thing um i don't know where to put this at to be honest should it go like that How they look right there, y'all. I actually think that's cute right there. Or, yeah, actually that's cute right there. Let's leave it right there. But let me just put like a little piece of tape on it so it won't fall down. Let's put tape on it and this right here.
I don't want it to fall down, so I'm putting tape on it because that ain't where I originally had it. I had it on the side, but we go put it right there instead. perfect you can see the body wash pen you can still see everything the little towel okay so now i ordered these from amazon it's strength wrap bags and they supposed to be huge so we gonna try these out because i ordered the other ones that i had they was too small and they didn't work and besides that I end up buying the regular uh, silo wrap, y'all. And if I tell you, I burnt it. Yeah, that didn't work. I was just trying it out for... Nope, it didn't work. So, good thing I had enough time to order me these bags. So, this is my first time using these kind. Uh, but I could, I could share the link with y'all. I'm hoping that they are big enough. They look like they're gonna be. Look super huge, so I might be okay. Oh yeah, this is perfect. Oh yeah, I can't tell y'all how much I paid for them. I forgot, but these bags is gonna fit. So you gotta just put this up, pick this up. But this is the back side of the bag anyway, so, of the basket. So, we're going to take our tape and we're going to tape it down. And you don't necessarily have to tape it down because you can blow dry it down, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to tape it. I'm going to tape some of it down. So whenever I do start to blow dry, it'll go in the direction I want it to go. Okay, y'all, I'm gonna go ahead and blow dry it and get it all wrapped up. And then once I finish wrapping it up, I'll be back and I'll let y'all um, put the bow rig on, on with me. So this is past looking so far. I've just been trying to get this kite to stay out. It's okay. It looks good so far. You can see all the good things in it. The last part, I got these little bows here from Dollar Tree. They was either two for a dollar or three for a dollar. I bought two different sets, so I don't remember. If this was two or three, four dollar. So it does have a staple in it. I'm gonna go ahead and remove that staple since I know that this is going to like a baby baby. 
I'm gonna remove this staple and I'm gonna add a piece of tape around it. So I just got a piece of tape and I'm gonna pull that piece of tape around it to make it stay together. Just twist it like that. And then I'm gonna take this and I'm just gonna wrap it and just do one tie. Now I'm doing everything from the back, so it's kind of hard. Yeah, I'm having a hard time trying to wrap this from that way. Sorry, y'all. I can't wrap it from that direction, so. Let me get it like I want to get it, and then I didn't even do this part right from that direction. But I'm going to go ahead and put it on there, and then I'm going to tie it, and I'll show y'all. So you just tie it like a shoestring. And then that way the rubber band don't show either. And then we can just pluck it out. You can leave this paper bead, or we can cut it down. But I always look at it as like there's a handle for them to grab it. You don't want to cut it too short, so I think it'll be okay. Maybe a little bit off. I just cut the top of it off. Even though I don't want to. And that's the basket. I hope you all like this video. Hopefully it gave you an idea of what you can do. You know you can always add more things to it or less. Whichever one you choose, add the different items to it. But it's still standing. It's still good, sturdy. If a kid get it and flip it over, nothing happens. Everything is still intact, so. Even though if they buy it a couple of weeks early, it'll still be in tech for on that day. So, again, hope you all like this video. If you have any questions or comments, please comment down below. If you have any ideas of something that I could have done better, please let me know. Would you have cut the top off of this or would you have left it? It did look pretty nice with it left, but it just kind of looked it too big, so that's why I cut it. So, give me, let me know. Tell me how you think or what you think, and bye. Till next time.